we are going to use this definition of the derivative to find the derivative of m uh, at the point negative 3 when x is negative 3. So let's set it up. Uh, m prime, the derivative of m at that value is the limit as h approaches 0. Remember that h is that wiggle of the function with a, a being negative 3, plus h put in it. So I'm going to have uh, 4 over negative 3 plus h. Remember that's just taking place at the x plus 3. Notice that is that part minus the function at a, function at negative 3. So 4 over negative 3, subtracting the whole thing. So I'm going to put this in front of 6, plus 3 over h, over the wiggle. Okay, let's uh, think about this for a second. If I distribute that negative into there, that turns this into a positive. Uh, it eliminates everything, apparently. It turns that into this which actually minus a negative, right, because that's a negative 3, becomes that, and then that was a negative, so that becomes minus 3. I just distributed the negative into there. And I've got, this is kind of nice, plus 3 minus 3, so that goes. So I'm still operating inside of that limit. I've got 4 over negative 3 plus h plus 4 thirds. Now, in this numerator, um, I'm adding these two fractions together. So I want, what I want to do is like simplify this numerator as much as I can. So I'm going to add those fractions together. And I know in order to add fractions, I need a common denominator. So my common denominator is going to be 3 times negative 3 plus h. So I'm going to multiply this one by 3 over 3. And I'm multiply this one by negative 3 plus h over negative 3 plus h. Still operating under the limit. Uh, so 3 times 4 is 12. And notice that's going to be over 3 plus. I'm going to distribute that 4 into there. So minus 12 plus 4h. And that's over that whole denominator. You might condense this down into 1 in this step. I'm just showing all of my steps. Let me keep going from here. Limit. As h approaches 0, notice these have a common denominator. So basically, I have um, 12 plus negative 12 plus 4x. Four, sorry, 4h all over h. So 12 minus 12 is 0. I'm just going to clean that up right here so I don't have to rewrite it. Beep, beep. Ah. So I have this which is the same as, notice it's a fraction divided by a fraction. So think of that as an h over 1. So if I'm dividing by h over 1, this is the same as multiplying by 1 over h. So this is 4h. Let me just distribute that into there. Negative 9 plus 3h. I don't know why I'm messing around. Uh, times 1 over h. Um, cool, now I can do some dividing out. I notice that h divided by h is 0. So that pushes me to um, this. Still limit as h approaches 0 of 4. Oops, 4 over negative 9 plus 3h. If I plug in 0 for h, now I get negative 4 ninths. So, zooming out a little bit and thinking about my original problem, the derivative of m at negative 3, m prime at negative 3, is negative four ninths. Phew.